Hey everybody, I'm Patrick Smith here with my team rep and partner Tanner Tomlinson. We're just going to talk to you a little bit about the different scenarios and how we set up different practices. We're going to kind of talk through the importance of preparing your practice for where you're headed. Today me and Patrick are working on my head horse being soft in the mouth, getting ready for the BFI. Long score, steers are running, you chase them down and we're really working on him being soft to the mouth so you can break the run down and break the steer down for your healer, have an easier shot for your healer there. We're just coming off roping at Austin, it's neck rope. Horses are really having to move and get away from them to set the run up over there, it's fast set up. So we're just working on that and scoring today and just getting our run together. Setting the run up and handling the steers for healers is what I've come from a long ways from back in the day when I first started heading, I healed my whole life started heading in 2018 and back then I used to just reach, throw, whatever. Didn't really know the fundamentals about handling and setting the run up for my partner. In the last two years, roping with Patrick, he's really helped me how to keep your horse framed up, keep him free through your delivery and throw. And just, that's the biggest key to team roping is teamwork. And that's what I've been really working on the last few years is setting the run up and keeping my horses good for the summer. Today we're working on slowing things down a little bit and any time that I go back to the blueprints or the fundamentals of my roping, seems like rodeo and you get to going so fast and traveling and you don't get much time to really practice in between. So this time of the year, we're able to build our fundamentals and work on slowing things down. And if you'll notice in these runs today, the main thing that I'm working on getting ready for a big roping like the BFI is my spacing. Because at the rodeos, at the smaller buildings, you're trying to hustle and get down the arena. I've got to keep up with a fast head horse and a partner that reaches, so you can't really outrun the head rope. So I've got to make sure that I'm tight enough to get a swing over the steers back early to have a faster throw, where at a place like the BFI in Guthrie, Oklahoma, the arena is so big and you get going so fast, the score's so long, steers are strong. The spacing is really important once we get up there because if I let myself get tight, cover up my throw, I'm gonna put myself in a position where I have to throw whether the steer is ready to be roped or whether I'm ready to rope the steer. So I'm really working on keeping my horse in my hand, keeping my spacing, my elbow to the inside where I keep my left rein a little bit shorter and that helps me control my horse's shoulders. If I can keep his shoulders controlled, I can keep him from cutting the corner. So that's what I'm working on today. I don't care how you rope, if you deliver like this, if you deliver like this, all the arguments, I think we can all agree that we rope better when we can see what we're trying to rope. So that's what I'm trying to do today is make sure I've got spacing and can see my target all the way through the turn. At Professional's Choice, the more comfortable the horse, the better the performance.